all right hello everybody this is another adventure with charlie's adventures uh we're doing part two on the mud busters fender flyer install on the pioneer 520. uh already did the front part one now we're working on part two now uh first thing you're going to want to do is pop the tailgate up and in here in the bed you're going to rem want to remove this screw here it's in the middle the middle bolt on each side you're going to want to remove those and that's a uh, five millimeter allen wrench and what you're going to end up doing is putting a longer bolt down through those There's that one. And this one. Those are fairly easy to come out. Of course, I guess they ain't gotta be torqued real hard holding that plastic down. That's all they're doing, holding the bed floor down. All right, and then the instructions says raise the bed, remove the plastic rivet shown in R, shown in figure R1. This rivet is located on the bottom panel below the rear tail, tail light. Well, as you can see right here, R1, it's just telling you to take those two bolts out. Uh, I think they meant R2, which is over here, and it's showing right here, replace, remove rivet from step two with one standard rivet, right there. And they just, uh, that was a misprint, I guess. So, anyway, uh, from what I'm gathering, you're gonna wanna pull this rivet here out of the bottom on both sides of the bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, what you're gonna do, is you can see right in here, that screw that we put in from the top of the bed, and then it's got a plastic spacer you put in on it. See it right in there? Then you slide this uh, passenger side flyer on the back of the bed. And right here you bracket. You see how them wires feed through there? You put this one up on top of that bracket and then this one goes below it. That's the best way I see it's supposed to be. <clears throat> and then you put this rivet right here that we took out, replace it. After you get, and then just get the nut started right here on it. And then I'm assuming they're going to want you to snug this nut down. And then we're going to start to drill in our holes up through here for our uh, push pans. All right, we'll be back. Now it did say to tighten this nut. I've got it snugged and we got that plastic rivet down here and it said after you do that then start drilling and putting them in as you come up through here so that's what we're going to start doing right here this one just seems to me like it's uh off or something. You just gotta push these together to make them line up and fit right. That's the only thing I can tell you to do. Oh. 
And the last one. There's that. I've got them all, all in, all the way. And as you can see, they're fitting pretty close. Man, oh, that's just residue from where I washed it. But uh, that's got one side of the back on, but uh, on the bed part. Yeah, there's, there's how she gonna look. So far, that's pretty good. Now we gotta put that one, the front to the right goes right in here. So I guess that's what we're gonna do next. Or I could just jump over and do the other side first. Yeah, it may be what I do. Just go ahead and do that other side. Well, I may just do this front, and that way if we're running any problems, then I'll know not to do whatever. So, yeah, we'll just put this front on. Okay, now on this lower piece, on the, on the uh, passenger side, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to aim this camera. best I can for you all right you're gonna have to try to fit this thing and you gotta push it in and there's a ground wire right here I don't know if you can see that or not but put it in behind that and then push this top back and you're gonna have to try trial fit it and see how that comes up and then down here at the bottom Hang on. Down here at the bottom, this piece here bolts up through the uh, skid plate for the fuel tank. You're going to have to bend this stuff, and it probably wouldn't hurt if you was uh, had this laying out in the sun. You know, the sun's went in on me now, but uh, I've got it formed pretty good. And you have to remove. Here's your ground stake for your grounds to the frame you need to just this one right here this push pan you want to remove all it. right we've got this inner piece on i put the push pan back in here in this bottom one here's your ground wire it's right over from it and you want to push this piece back behind that ground wire and the two plastic pins that's sticking through the frame from the factory. You want to tuck that in behind there. And then this piece here, we fold it up under the bottom and then you put this bolt through. You put the bolt through that hole and then a washer and a nut and tighten it down. And like I said, we've already put this push pin back in there. So now, I guess it's a matter of just uh, lining this stuff up okay this side here this uh, passenger side lower is a buyer you got to make sure this fits back behind here and then up here at the top make sure uh, it fits in behind all that stuff good and then what i did is i held it with my i think i held it with my left hand held this right here all in place to where it looked like it was falling. I started drilling and put a push pin in, drill, put a push pin in, drill, put it in there, and then there. And then when you get up here, this tab that folds out, this little deal, and then you got this out here, you'll have to work with that, man. I mean, I struggled with that big time. Uh, just take, Take your time, be patient. It almost looks like it right there to pull, wanting to pull out. I really don't like that right there myself. 
that's not going to last long and probably pull out. I may be wrong, but we'll see. But uh, anyway, when you let your tailgate down, this here uh, lines up pretty good there. And that's the way it looks. I'm, I don't know, it just don't even look right to me. It looks like it's uh, sprung forward to me. I don't think it should uh, be that way, but that's I'm pretty sure that's the way they meant it to be. But uh, there it is. It overlaps. I did like that. And then, uh, you know, it does cover the rear tire pretty good so I don't know we'll see I just uh, I just think they could have done something a little better here folks I mean that's that's got quite a bit of pressure on that trying to pull out and maybe by the time it heat gets hot in the sun maybe it'll be fine and, uh, I don't know I just uh, I hate to be a negative you know and i guess maybe it'll be okay i'm just not used to it i just think that the way it looks there it's forward and to me it would have looked better if it had just been straight out but maybe that's the way they want it we'll see maybe it'll grow on us and if it serves the purpose that's the main thing all right we're going to go to the other side hopefully it'll go a little better this uh this side here that lower the lower part on this passenger side was a bar i will say that that's the hardest thing i've did yet. all right now all i done was put this uh bed uh side on the upper i guess we'll call it i put this the boat we put through the bed started the net put this one push pin right here in that we removed there at the back of the bed and under the tail light I put it in then I started holding it to form with the body and just started right here drilled put that one in then I held it for this drilled this one put this one in that one that one that one and that one and that's all these are pretty simple and now I guess we're going to move to the uh, driver's side lower. Actually, <coughs> uh, see here, I need to go to the instructions on that driver's side lower. For some reason, they got you doing the passenger side upper and then it goes to the driver's side lower for some reason. I don't know. Upper rear fender flyers. I guess you do them both at the same time is what it was meaning. And then uh, now you were to the, uh, doing the driver's side lower. And I'm getting ready to get a rain here, it looks like. Any time. But, uh, here's the driver's side lower. It don't have that big square hole cut out in it at the passenger side. And the texture side goes toward the front of the vehicle. And I just want to kind of get an idea how this thing fits. Just a trial fit to begin with. See, that, that's what I'm telling you. I don't know if you all can see that, but I'm just holding it up here to uh, trial fit it. And it looks like this one's just uh, pretty much straight out. 
Well, the one on the passenger side is uh, Fulbert. It don't make no sense to me. It just don't, it don't look right to me. And I guess maybe it's supposed to, uh, maybe when it straightens out, maybe it'll be straight out, but the, I just don't like that at all. It, it leans forward, but maybe, maybe after it uh, gets hot or something, maybe it'll relax. But anyway, we're gonna go to working on this uh, driver's side one. And, uh, See what we can get done with it. Raise the dump bed if not already raised. The line and install two units on the lip of the frame member with the two existing holes in the frame as shown. All right, I see that. Right here is our I guess they're calling the units. And uh, as you can see right here, there's two holes in the frame there. I hope you can see that. Right here and here. So we're gonna put these units on there and there. All right, it's come a shower rain here. I had to scramble and put stuff up, but I've got the two units or whatever they're called right there. They're like a clip and there's holes in that frame. And then I've got these two uh, bar clamps stretched across this bar and hanging here. It shows one right here and one right there. I've got that done. No. They call them new nuts. All right, place the lower Mudbuster flare against the body and install two three quarter inch bolts through the flap on the flyer and into, into the two new nuts placed in step two. Doesn't say anything about the uh, washers, it just said uh, two boats. And there. They're calling these three quarter inch boats and uh, very confusing to me because they're more like an inch to me. I don't have a tape measure right here handy, but I'm pretty sure they're uh, longer than three quarter. But anyway, I'm pretty sure that's what they're telling us to use because we don't have any other different lengths. All right, so now I'm gonna install these uh, two bolts here, I reckon. Mm. There again, these things, you're gonna have to hand bend them. You're gonna have to make them bend to the way you need them. I read a review somewhere on these talking about they didn't fit well and they were shipped in a flat box and I thought whoever that is is just complaining. But I, I'm beginning to see what that person was talking about. But I'm just trying to form it to make it, uh, persuade it to work. Like what we need. Get 
I first thought whoever it was that wrote that review was just being, you know, going overboard with it. But uh, I see what they were saying now. You know, I mean, this is not a an easy install. I'll say that. And you would think something like these would be fairly easy and straightforward. And I'm not even sure if this bottom boat's gonna line up or not. I guess it will. I don't know if you all can see what I'm doing down here or not, but I'm putting these two uh, bolts in right here. Them new nuts that we put in the frame earlier, we're putting the bolts through these two tabs. And I had to bend that tab on that fender flyer. You know, it wasn't really bent. It was bent, but not enough, I don't think. So, just be prepared to manipulate this plastic. And uh, I had it out in the sun earlier today and it would have been much easier, but I just didn't, <laughs> I didn't get to this point, you know, soon enough. The sun's already, you know, we're getting, expecting rain and the sun's behind clouds now. It's cooled off here quite a bit. And I'm not gonna tighten these completely tight. I've just uh, got them snug down. Okay, I'm gonna set you back up here and then we're gonna see what else we need to do, what next. Place the lower, okay. Install two three quarter inch bolts, which are more like an inch. Bolts through the flap on the flyer and and into the two U-nuts placed in step two. All right. Place a three quarter inch bolt through the flyer and through each of the bar clamps that were placed in step three, add a washer and a lock nut to each bolt, but do not tighten just yet. Alrighty, so two of them, two washers, and two nuts. All right, I'm gonna try to do this inner one first. And this could be a, a pain, especially with me with my knee messed up. Yet I'm having to thread this bolt through the fender flyer, the hole. It's not a slip fit hole, it's, uh, you know, it's tight. And that'll be good because that'll help you hold the bolt. All right, now I'm gonna Try to squeeze this uh, bar clamp enough to get this uh, washer and nut on it in here. Oh. Wow. Now people, I'm gonna tell you, now I've been down for a couple of months for this knee and uh, I've had the COVID. So 
I'm not, I've lost a lot of strength during that leg deal just cause I couldn't do nothing. I had to be laying with my foot elevated. So I've lost some strength, I know. By the time you get it on there and reach to get you nut and moisture, it pops back off. So all right. Finally got one of them started. Yee-hoo. So now we're gonna move to the next one. We're gonna get this boat started in this hole. Grab my Allen wrench. I hope you can see this, you probably can't. Just this camera down some, maybe you can. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. All right, I got the boat through the hole. And, uh, yeah, this in here, man, is gonna, looks like it's gonna require you to get down and get up under the side-by-side -side maybe to get it done. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try to lay down and get up under there. Let me go find me something to throw down to lay on. Okay, I don't know how much you all are gonna be able to see of this and under here. But I went and got my Mudbuster box that these came in. And busted it open. And I'm laying on it now. I'm under here to uh, Try to get through the second boat. Okay. I think I might be able to push it and get the washer and that started, maybe. And like I said, I'm a little weak. But man. Telling you, people. <laughs> I'm going to try to. Is that plane as far together as I can before I even try the nut and moisture? It's just hard to uh, hold everything. And there goes the nut for the washer.
72 times the charm, I guess. I'm just not putting on. I mean, I know I am weak from what I was, but man, I mean, You need two more hands. Alright, I finally was able to push it. And I thought I was going to get it. But anyway, I'm going to keep wrestling with this thing. You can see what I'm doing right here. Right to here to here. Trying to hold all that together, spring that spring, or just clamp together and then get the nut and bolt on it. Or nut and washer. Alright, I'm gonna get this on here and then I'll get back to you. Alright, as soon as I turn the camera off and uh, pitch the little fit there, I guess, I got it started. And it says not to tighten those yet, so we're gonna leave them loose. All right, well, I'm going to climb back out and under here and see what our next step is. Okay, it says here, place a three-quarter inch bolt through the flyer and through each of the bar clamps that were placed in step three. Add a washer and lock nut to each bolt. Do not tighten just yet. Then it says close the dump bed and check alignment of the upper and lower flyer just adjust the lower as necessary for desired fit once achieved tighten the lock nuts on the bar clamps from step five okay i'm gonna bring you all over here and uh, hopefully we can do this i don't know how much we're getting there. Went ahead and got my wrench. And it says to pull this down. The bed. And it just, I just don't really see what that's gonna do, but. I've got that, uh, hang on a minute. I'm just gonna go ahead and start snugging these down. Hopefully I'm not gonna have to climb up back up under there to do this.
okay I think I've got it <laughs> I guess close to what it needs to be once achieved tighten the lock nuts on the bar clamps from step 5 using the flyer as a guide and the 2164 bit which we're using I think it was a 5 6 tanks couldn't find the 2464 bit uh, ace hardware ace hardware didn't even have one and I don't have one in any bit set I've got but anyway ended up using a 5 6 tanks it's a 64th smaller Drill the four holes for the standard rivets. All right. One, two, three, and four. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna push and hold those. And I've got four rivets left, that's what I got. We'll push them in and hold them. I mean, you pretty much got to push that in where it lines up with this plastic and put it anyway. I don't know. It's just, uh, you got to really hold, push this in. It looks to me like this corner needs to be bent or something. Let me get some. Uh... I'm going to take some channel locks and then this corner inside here, I'm going to try to bend it down a little bit to where it won't be holding. A lot of pressure on that. Yeah, that helped that a lot. Let me show you if I hope you can see this in here. You probably can't. Let me get my cell phone out and I'll shine a light. Okay, right in, right in there, as you can see how that's needing to bend, that's what I just bent down with those channel locks. I'm probably going to do it a little more. All right, I'm going to get this and then I'll be back. Okay, folks, I finally got it. I drilled all those. Uh, Push pin rivets in there. I tightened those two bolts down. I tightened the two clamp after I got it adjusted here. You just got to take your time. And uh, that's what she looks like right there. I'll uh, try to do a video in the day, run across it in the daylight to let you see the finished product. But uh, that's what what it looks like with the Mudbuster fender flyers on it.